Hello everybody. What I'd like to show you today is a really nice little compact blower that I made for my foundry that I use to melt aluminum, brass, copper. I have been doing with it lately. Um, I was using a shop vac before, using the hooking the hose up to where it blows the air out the hose. But that was just so noisy and ah, I really got tired of having to drag the shop back out and just having to listen to it the entire time. So I made a nice little blower out of a vacuum cleaner motor. Now what I did is I undid this nut and this metal piece on it can also be taken off real easy just with a screwdriver. It pops right off. In this motor, I took these two screws out. It had this little shroud here that was around the motor down here and I popped it out it was just barely glued in there or however they held it in there and uh, this really channeled the air right up against the motor as it blew out of it but that really I found restricted the air a lot so I just took a screwdriver and popped that out and then I got lucky for a housing for this motor. I thought about a wooden box or something to put it in, but I got really lucky. I had laying around <laughs> this piece of four inch sewer pipe. This is from when I put my furnace in, but I have the bell end of it. That's the bell end is of the pipe that's been expanded. So another pipe will, <laughs> Jesse go, will slide into it when you glue it together. Now another thing I did is my burner on my foundry has an inch and a half pipe. So I cut, this is a piece of oak that I cut out to fit in the inside fairly well. And then I drilled an inch and a half hole and then a small hole for my cord to go out. But with the bell in this pipe, it actually is a very nice tight fit for the motor. And I'll push it all the way down in there. And then how I was talking about the bell into the pipe is made for a, another pipe to go into it. Well, I got a piece here and I actually take it like so. And it actually fits in there. It holds the blower in there really well. Um, it's actually a really good seal. And my motor, I mean, it's, probably won't be the same for any and all vacuum cleaners but uh mine just so happened to fit so if you see an old junk vacuum cleaner laying around grab it anyways um this blower here it puts out a ton of air i mean it blows almost more air than my foundry needs when i'm melting something i've melted copper absolutely nothing to it um I, my crucible that I melt everything in or the pot whatever you want to call it is a steel and actually one day with my foundry running on used oil I almost melted it down so my foundry is running at oh, it's it's up there probably almost 3,000 degrees I have no idea but it is super duper hot now another thing I like to do is I have one of these cheapo this is a Harbor Freight this is for a router for like cutting wood and stuff. This is a speed control. You can get these really, really cheap. I bought this several years ago. And um, you can adjust the speed. Well, this works extremely well with this motor. So like when I'm first firing my foundry up, I can turn it down on low to where it's just barely blowing air until the temperature starts getting up in it. And then I can turn it up as high as I want, turn it wide open even is how I usually run it and uh, that's really great that way I can control the the speed of the motor and I use the original vacuum cleaner cord also which is all oh, hard telling 15 feet or better long and uh, yeah it just the cord plugs in back here and then this plugs into the wall and I mean it works great I've had so far very good success with this with my burner running on used motor oil I can just about overheat the thing well anyways I just want to throw a quick little something out here this is a quick little thing that I made so 
I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got something out of it. And I hope it's a little something you'll be able to use. Alright, well, thanks for watching. And I'll see you later.